I get you attention. Okay, it's Lex here with now of you. I know it's been a while. So after you saw my first impressions of Pineapple Vintage Noir, you saw about the title. So I try Beyond Noir. I mentioned I really like it, and so far it's my favourite from the house. So I said it's about ten down of you. So. I've used this a fair bit, you can see here. I've not used too much because you don't need to really use too much. But you can see I've been using it. This was pretty full when I last tried it. So I've been wearing this pretty much all week. It's been coldish, warmish weather. It's been pretty good for testing, to be honest. And I feel I'm ready to do a review. So, this was released in 2013 by Parfans Vintage, as you probably know. So, let's get started with the notes. So, top notes are pineapple, apple, and birch. Middle notes are pineapple, birch, bergamot, cassie, whatever, rose, jasmine. <laughs> Base notes of bajilli, vanilla, birch and ambergris. So, let's get started with this thing. So, first of all, bottle design is pretty much the same. Of course, it's got the awesome sticker on the bottom. Thank the fuck Christ. So, yeah, awesome wooden cap. The usual, awesome presentation. Excellent box as per. Wouldn't expect any less. So far, this brand's been pretty impressive in the whole presentation part. So, just to state, this bottle was sent to me by Parfans Vintage, just so you guys know. This is my unbiased review of it, so it doesn't matter if they send me it, if it sucks ass, I'll tell them it sucks ass. Because that's how you improve it, you tell people, this sucks ass, here's why, fucking make it better. Been saying it a YSL for years, but those stupid cunts keep not listening. That's why no one gives a fuck about YSL anymore. YSL are like, like an unpopular kid in high school, who you have on Facebook but never message. Yeah, it's YSL right now, who gives a flying fuck? But I'll still meet up for sex, just saying, so... Anyway, this is beyond the wire. So, oh, no, wow, these super, the, the only thing I don't like is these sprayers whoosh right out so you can get a, quite a messy sprayer. So, as usual, excellent sprayer. Lovely mist comes out. I love it. It's like vaping. So, smell wise, um, it's kind of what I mentioned. A lot of the points I mentioned in my first impressions will be coming up here. I really like the smell of this one. Um, beyond Noir, so just to clarify in case no one knows, Noir is here and we're Beyond Noir, so Noir, Beyond Noir, the train was at Noir and now it's went on and it's Beyond Noir, for so the people that have an IQ of under 10, Beyond Noir, okay, so, so something good, you can only see Miss Pineapple Noir, wipe the sand out of your vagina and read the title, retard, anyway, <laughs> so, I have mentioned our serious note, so far, out of the ones I've tried, this has been my favourite. I've tried the original, I've tried Noir, and this to me, I mean, I mentioned how I prefer the original to Noir, because the original still has that fresh fruitiness to it, whereas Noir has the more sort of darker sort of vibe going on. This basically takes what I like about Noir, what I like about the original, and just goes, Pack, here you go. You know, it's like peanut butter and jelly, you Pack, Nutella and peanut butter, you know, you know, fucking Hershey's, Reese's Pieces and all that. Basically, pardon me, that's what that's what I'm getting from this. I mean, it really has that. Has a pineapple vintage part going to it, but has a bit of the noir in there, but different. They both work really well. It's like they just basically went, well, instead you having to pick between both, how about the best of both in one bottle? That's what I'm getting from this, and it's really nice. I really like it. It's kind of tough. I know some people may not like this brand because they are flankers after flanker after flanker, but I don't mind this company because they are constantly trying to improve, and I do not mind that. Um, you know me, I don't like it when flankers keep flying off the shelves. That's the only thing it kind of makes me think about if I am um, buying these, as I'm not sure. Will a superior product come out later that I'll prefer? Um, you know, and it's not cheap. That's the only thing I don't like. But to be fair, from what I've tried, I don't think I've tried a single bad product from this brand, really. I don't think I've tried anything yet. I'd say, yeah, that was a total waste of money. Um, but so far, out of them all... Clarify, this is my favourite out of the bunch. This is my, if I had to pick right now, if I had to choose only one from the other thing, it'd be this. Yeah, I absolutely love this. This is just the bee's knees. Um, really, yeah, I just love the presentation, the smell, everything. Moving on. Performance. How's this one perform? On me, it's pretty damn heavy. I get a damn good amount of longevity, good fuels of that, and projection siage is excellent on this. I mean, there's there's not really been, I know some people said they weren't getting it. What I do stress to people is it can be olfactory fatigue. The same thing happened to me with Aventus. Aventus, I thought, this isn't performing, it was olfactory fatigue. It's probably something to do with the notes that are used in each, in each scent, they share similar notes. So it's probably more to do with that. Um, but from feedback I've got, when I think, oh, this has got a bit of reapply, people are still smelling it. If you're ever having doubt, 
walk downstairs in your house and then walk back up again about 10 minutes later and I guarantee you'll smell it again, no problem. Uh, so yeah, pretty damn strong, excellent performance as per, I expect nothing less because if it didn't have good performance, it'd be going in the fucking bin. So thank God that someone out there gets it. Shit the projects fucking sells. I want to get laid. I want people to smell me and go, he smells amazing, I want to suck his cock. That's pretty much why I'm paying 80 odd fucking quid for a bottle of this stuff because you want to get fucking laid. Let's face it, you know, caveman rules. Always works. <laughs> anyway, but um, how many sprays to use with this one? You know, age group and stuff. I'm going to start with age group. Age group, as I've mentioned, this one is someone in their mid-twenties up. But it's up to you, any age. But what I recommend is someone in their twenties. It's got that mature vibe, but still young. So I would say 25 and up. But you're still young, but you're, you can still, you know, buy fucking beer and cigarettes without needing to get mummy and daddy to do it for you. So if you need that, you shouldn't be wearing this. Fuck off. Uh, this isn't for you. Okay, this is a man scent, okay? This is for people with more than three hairs on the balls. Just saying. Okay, if you look down and there is nothing there, do not buy this. Go buy fucking Yop or some shit. So, really, 25 and up, on a serious note, for me, my recommendation, entirely up to you. Now, how many sprays? Now, do you know what? I'm just going to show you guys my daily routine. I hope that answers your question of how many sprays. <laughs> Next up. Season-wise, can you wear this in spring? Hell yes. Summer? Yes. Winter? I would say all seasons with this. The only thing I would mention about summer is really tone it down with the sprays. Don't refer to the segment just 20 seconds ago. Um, I mean, seriously, here's how you wear this in summer. For the fucking pansies out there that can't do, you know, basic maths, here's how you wear this strong scent in summer. <laughs> there you go, that's you. No more. No less. That's you. You're done. That's you for the whole fucking day. Don't sit and go, six out of ten, too cloying. The only thing too cloying is your lack of a fucking sex life. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on. <laughs> All seasons, but really, wear this, I would recommend this. It's definitely spring and definitely colder weather. For colder weather, this is awesome, but it can be worn in summer. Don't let the strength put you off. Don't be a fucking pussy. That's bullshit. No one likes that shit. Nothing makes a vagina drier than that. Fucking yeah. But spring, for me, this is the spring scent. I think it just worked really well with cold weather and the, the sort of dark vibe this has, um, along with the freshness. Really damn nice. Moving on. Situation-wise, can you wear this to work? Yes, but at this price, I don't really think it is worth wearing to work because it's an awesome scent, and why would you waste it in the shitty workplace with the fat, ugly, bald boss that you work for that demands that you have 10 years of higher education so he can pay you fuck all because you're an intern? Uh, but yeah, really, um, if you want to, it can be worn, but I wouldn't waste this on work. It's just too damn nice. Work can go fuck itself. Next, for a date. Hell yes, this will be excellent. A date, as I mentioned, this is sort of unique. So even if the ex wore Aventus and he was a wank stain with a small inch penis and insecurity issues, it doesn't really matter because this is still kind of different. Don't put too many sprays on, though. I mean, this is an all of these ones. It smells amazing, but if you overdo it, it'll smell like cheap fucking air freshener. Same with any scent. Same with the original Aventus. Same damn thing. I know because I wore too much of the original Aventus and it smelled like cheap talk cleaner, apparently. Yeah, 200 quid for talk cleaner. Might as well just wear fucking Febreze and get that shit like savers for like a quid. So, <clears throat> anyway, for a date though, this is really good. Just don't overspray it. Um, cinema date, something like close proximity, going out for a meal, coffee, burger, wings, whatever. Perfectly fine for that. Moving on. Clubbing. Hell yes. Great for clubbing. Although I would wear the original pineapple vintage for clubbing. I think it's got more of the freshness there. The dark vibe in this could work. But I think, you know, hot, sweaty club. Maybe the original. But this could work. That's not me saying it won't work. That's just me saying if you have the original, wear that instead. But they can both work. Next up, casual wear. Can you wear this casually? Yes. When I say casual though, I'm not talking about Adidas tracksuit. I'm talking more nice jeans, a polo shirt, or a nice t-shirt, something like that. Um, don't go walking about in a Vela tracksuit. I think you're a member of Run DMC. Because not only will I want to punch you in the face, but I'll feel bad about it because Run DMC are awesome. And the Adidas superstar is the greatest trainer ever made. But back on topic, <laughs> formal wear. Can you wear this with a suit? You bet your ass. I think this is really good with a suit. I mentioned this about the original. I mentioned it about Pineapple Vintage Mar. All of these and Aventus and anything like this can be worn with a suit. It's very versatile. I mentioned that about Aventus. I'm actually kind of sick of fucking seeing it. Basically, 
if it has this pineapple note in it, you can wear it with a suit. That's basically it. But really, for formal wear, same sort of rules as the date. Don't overdo it. Wedding interview. Well, was, I wouldn't wear a cologne in an interview, but maybe I would because I'm an asshole. I don't really give a flying fuck what the interviewer thinks of me. So that people would say, oh, you need to shave your beard. What? Shave my beard that I've spent like six months growing so they can like not hire me because I don't have 36 D tits? Yeah, sure. Okay, go fuck yourself. Weep my ass, cunt. Anyway, um. But for a formal occasion, really, really good. But, um, definitely, you know, this Tom Ford Tuscan leather, you know the routine sort of sense in that thing. Really good for formal wear. So that's my review of Pineapple Vintage Beyond Noir. So far, it's my favourite. I really like it um, for me. And again, um, I'd probably been wearing this a lot more than the original, but I mean, I still like the original. If anything, the one I've worn the least is Noir. It's not a bad scent. It's just I love the freshness I get from these scents. And Noir still has that, but it's sort of toned down. Um, whereas Beyond Noir really sort of fixed up some of the issues I had. Um, I mean, I was, I was nitpicking with the issues, you know, one man meets another man's poison routine. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know it's been a while. Leave your feedback in the comments below. Send my YouTube message. Contact me through Powerhouse Kings. I'll put a link to Powerhouse Kings as well in the description. And as always, guys, keep on smelling fly. Also, if you use the code COUPON, you will get five dollars off any samples also if you use the code september you will get 10 percent off obviously in september so if you go buy make sure you use those coupons i'll also put those in the description Yeah.